Avidata Gita. Translated by Hari Prasad Shastri. Chapter 1. By God's grace, Brahmins are drawn to non-duality, relieving their fears. The indestructible self, all-pervasive and blissful, exists as the essence of all, free from duality. The world, a mere mirage, exists within the self. The Atman is pure knowledge, beyond joy and pain, actions and mind. It is the infinite consciousness, changeless and enlightening, ever-present and eternal. All forms and faculties are illusory, the essence is eternal. The self is unattached, beyond all distinctions, and remains pure, free from worldly constructs. The Shruti teaches that all is Brahman, transcending all dualities. The Atman is pure, free, and beyond all modifications. Realization of this truth leads to liberation, and the Avidhat lives in this equanimity, seeing all as Brahman, free from any bonds or rituals. Chapter 2 The Avidhat advises to learn from everyone, regardless of their perceived status. The higher intelligence that pervades all is the self, subtle and beyond duality. The inner organ's modifications are not the self, which is impersonal and eternal. The self is like space, taintless, and ever blissful. The knowledge of the self transcends mind and intellect, and the yogi merges with Brahman through constant practice. The Atman is beyond emotions and material world illusions. It is the one undivided consciousness, unaffected by dualities or worldly perceptions. The yogi, realizing the self, transcends all rituals and worldly actions, remaining in a state of pure bliss and equanimity. Chapter 3 The Self, beyond personal and impersonal, is the all-pervasive, attributeless Shiva. It is eternal, unchanging, and free from desires. The Atman is not bound by karma, sufferings, or bodily limitations. It is pure, taintless, and transcends all worldly conceptions and modifications. The knowledge of the Self is beyond intellect and realization of this truth leads to a state of pure bliss and liberation. The Avidhat, free from all worldly attachments and identifications, realizes the Atman as the all-pervasive, indestructible reality, living in a state of eternal peace and equanimity. Chapter 4 The universal consciousness is beyond additions or subtractions, unreachably pure by any ritual or meditation. In this non-dual state, there is no bondage or liberation, no purity or impurity. The realized soul is untouched by the illusions of knowledge or ignorance, sin or virtue. The Avidhat lives in perfect bliss, beyond all worldly conceptions and attachments, free from any dualistic perceptions. In this realization, all distinctions dissolve, and the Avidhat remains in a state of pure, unconditioned existence, untouched by the worldly dualities of life and death, pleasure and pain. Chapter 5 the syllable Om encapsulates all knowledge, representing the ever-free Brahman beyond duality. The self is unaffected by cause and effect, free from inner and outer distinctions. Samadhi, the realization of this truth, reveals the non-duality of Amin. The self, untouched by worldly conditions, remains the same in solitude and in the multitude, unbound by knowledge or actions. In this state of realization, the Avidhat remains in eternal peace, free from all worldly sorrows and dualities. Chapter 6 The universe is a projection of the mind, and true bliss is revealed when the mind is stilled. The self, beyond time and space, is pure consciousness, indescribable by words or thoughts. The Atman, eternal and all-pervasive, is untouched by birth, death, or any worldly duties. The realization of this truth brings liberation from all suffering and dualities, as the self remains pure, infinite, and blissful. The Avidhat, realizing this eternal truth, lives in a state of perfect equanimity and bliss, free from all worldly attachments and distinctions. Chapter 7 The Avidhat, in realizing the all-pervasiveness of Atman, transcends all desires and worldly interests. The sage, free from pride and attachment, lives in peace, seeing the self in all beings. The Avidhat embodies purity, patience, and compassion, detached from the world like a solitary rhinoceros. Understanding the essence of Atman, the Avidhat renounces all desires, seeing the body and mind as mere illusions. 
The state of pure bliss and liberation is achieved by those who transcend worldly attachments and realize the eternal truth of the self, living in a state of perfect equanimity and peace.